Mr. Vachon, you say South-South trade is not a panacea. Yes. South-South uh, trade actually uh, has been expanding, and as we know, uh, the, the European countries are now exporting to each other more than they export to the rest of the world. So as we, as we go on, uh, the kind of trade exporting, importing among the South will be increasing at a pace faster uh, than the average pace of the growth of the, uh, of the world trade, as uh, uh, Pascal has been saying. Now, the trouble with the South-South trade is that first, ultimately, the final demand comes from the North. Although they may be trading or getting on the, the supply chain, they would be producing things, assembling things together, and ultimately it will be exported to the European market or the US market. That's why you see the things happening in Asia at the moment is that some of those export-oriented economies in Asia are not doing so well because ultimately they have been benefiting from the supply chain, but they have to export the final products to US and EU, and you can see that imports into the EU has been declining. That is the first point. The second point uh, is that um, the South-South trade uh, sometimes uh, drives uh, countries into their specific roles too much. For example, Latin America becomes the only place that exports food products. Africa would export basic commodities, and Asia would export manufactured products. So this has actually uh, uh, made all these uh, economies, it might be good according to the trade theory that you have to specialize, but what we are aiming at is to have diversification and this may not help so much. The third one is that the South-South trade, the bulk of which has been uh, uh, professed to be doing, uh, expanding so well, 60, 70 percent of the South-South trade originates from Asia. It's in all Asia and in all intra-Asian trade. So the, the, the issue is how to get this to be more spread equally throughout the world and therefore we need to have uh, different kind of exercises. I would suggest that first investment policies, as, as, as Pascal has been saying, must be addressed in a different way. It's not that investment should be left to the market, but investment must be crafted by governments, both from the, the, the sending country the, the, and the host country. So it's not just like accepting all kind of investment in terms of the funds are coming in and so we, we accept it. Because otherwise, funds from Asia would always go into the mining industry, extractive industries in Africa. The second part is that there still exists a lot of non-tariff measures, as the President has said this morning, particularly among the open countries. And uh, this will have to be sorted out because the multiplication of the NTMs are going to be added by the newly acquired need uh, to address issues of health, of environment. And the third one, the issues of trade facilitation. In terms of trade financing, trade financing is done mainly by European and American banks. Actually, European banks have been doing the bulk of the trade financing of around the world. The European countries, in uh, financial institutions, are not participating. This we have to work together into how we can do to support them to come more into the picture to support the trade financing among the European countries more so than in the past.